words, can't explain it to be honest, just devastated. Um, during the sudden year experience when they gave us a call that um, the bow was leaking water, at that time you do not know the extent of it. Um, I've never pulled out of a leg in four Volvo races until the last one and now it's two in a row. When he said to me, don't bother about bringing just a tube of Sikaflex, I knew we had a big situation on our hands. Well, I'm still uh, wondering what I'm going to do when I grow up, but I'm coming into my fifth edition of the race now. And one thing that you learn from the race, whether you're shore crew, sailor, um, family, you're constantly dealing with uh, crisis management. Crisis management from as small as, do you have the correct resin to make a repair, up to as big as a broken mask and how you're actually going to deal with it. We have to be extremely resourceful. Um, a general rule in crisis management, you need to improvise 20% with everything, because nothing can be written in paper. But in this job, I think you need to improvise at least 50%, because you can have everything down on paper, and a mast may break, um, but that mast is never going to fall down in the exact same place, in the exact same um, conditions. So you're never going to deal with the exact same situation. So you have to learn to adapt, um, and adapting is being resourceful. And during that time, you, you need to deal with so many different things from an operational level, a media level, and also a personal level. The trick is not to try and be too brash in making calls. You need to really assess the situation and then make the call. To face a challenge so enormous is actually quite exciting in the sense of we had to build a full set of carbon fibre rigging in Madagascar on a shipping wharf. So it's important to sit back, take stock, um, assess the resources you have, um, assess how it's going to affect the race, have a look at what your actual race plan is um, and just take it from there. It's, you can't jump too quickly. This time it's different in the Volvo Ocean Race because we have the advantage of a one design boat. We have the advantage of all the same suppliers and we have the advantage of having seven teams on the start line. So that means we can create a facility which is specifically tailored to the teams, to look after the teams, to look after the major elements on board and to ensure that the boats get around the world for every single leg of the Volvo Ocean Race.